Okay, I'm going to try my best to explain about this topic today. This is uh, really not easy. Uh, I've done some research, so I'm going to attach some of my uh, articles or the researches that I've seen for you to reference to in the links below. Tofi, thin outside, fat inside. So that's what it literally means. So if you look at a person that generally looks slim or have normal body weight, um, that means they are not obese, they are within the good BMI range. But what you will not know is that this guy may have fats inside. Okay, so they are known as tofi. Okay, thin on the outside again, fat on the inside. So before we get further, what are the types of fat? You know, we need to understand the differences. There are two types or two main ones. The first one we call it the subcutaneous fat. Okay, basically that's what you can see, and that is what is just right below the skin. Imagine love handles. So that is more widely known as subcutaneous fat. Visceral fat is the one that is dangerous. Visceral fat is the one that encompasses around your organs in your abdominal cavity. And this is something you can't see with the naked eye. You need to do an MRI to be able to determine the amount of visceral fat that you have. Or sometimes you can have some uh, other forms of method just to have a reference point on the amount of visceral fat in your body. One fact for sure is in 2018, there were 167 million people in the US who had normal body weight but was metabolically dysfunctional means that they have type 2 diabetes, they have dementia, they have cardiovascular disease, um, they have hypertension and some forms of cancer. 67 million people, normal body weight and not obese. So this is something that is very interesting. Why is this happening? Why and how can you be a tofi? Um, maybe varying fat distribution ability uh, metabolic uh, profile, genetics could play a part. But I think sometimes it's the inability of your body to store fat in the subcutaneous adipose tissues. So instead, it stores into your visceral uh, adipose tissue. All right? Basically, it stores around the fat in your organ areas. Basically, what happens is when you ingest um, too much sugar, or even fructose. And if this doesn't get used up by the body, okay, basically glucose, when you consume glucose, glucose can be used by your body. The excess will first be turned into glycogen, and then maybe the, ex the, the rest of them turns into, uh, or stored as fat. But fructose is metabolized exclusively by the liver only. So if you take fructose, it goes straight to your liver, okay, and it has to be processed there. And if your body already has enough glucose, this excess fructose will be converted into fats via de novo lipogenesis, basically turning into fats and stored as fats. Maybe this person, a, a tofi person, can be exercising well, you know, uses up the um, subcutaneous fat, but the visceral fat has always not been activated. And this could be due to being, it being uh, insulin resistant and this fat constantly being topped up by fructose. So if you take uh, fruit juices, your desserts, um, sweet stuff, cakes and things like that, these contain high amounts of fructose. And if your body, only your liver can process it, and if it has nowhere else to be sent to for usage for energy, it will just be stored as fat. And unfortunately, it may be stored as visceral fat instead of subcutaneous ones. Okay, then that's what is dangerous. Um, just want to talk about this uh, statement or conclusion from this uh, research that I've done. It says this, Although an increase in total body fat is associated with an increase in health risk, the amount of abdominal fat, again, uh, which I would feel that is visceral fat, particularly located within the abdominal cavity, has been associated with an increased risk of comorbidities, which is like type 2 diabetes, uh, coronary heart disease, stroke, sleep apnea, hypertension, all right, to name just a few. And this phenomenon is usually verified at any level of total body adiposity, it means that it, you can be fat, you can be thin, you can be uh, obese, or you can be in normal weight, and you still will have abdominal fat that cannot be seen and causes diseases to form up. And the notion that excess visceral adiposity, that means excess visceral fat, may be a marker of dysfunctional subcutaneous adipose tissue, 
again, as what I mentioned before, maybe your fat, uh, your ability to convert or store fat in your subcutaneous region is dysfunctional. That's why you have to store fat in your visceral uh, subcutaneous adipose tissues. Uh, sorry, in your visceral adipose tissues. As you can see, this is quite a heavy topic. Uh, it's, it takes quite a bit to understand. But basically, if you were to avoid all your fructose, your added sugars, it will help to minimize the amount of visceral fat that you may have in your body. And that could lead to more problems on. So stop or avoid all the added sugars. And hopefully, this will bring down your visceral fat level and reduce your risk for diseases.